Jerry Sandusky's son arrested for child sex charges. Federal TSA employees are facing jail time. And a look at this week's weather. All that and more coming up on this half hour of RTN News. new episode of RTN News. I'm Summer Shiki. And I'm Sean Kelly. And now let's get started with some local news. Jerry Sandusky's son was arrested on child on charges for child sexual abuse on Monday. Jeffrey Sandusky, son of former Penn State assistant football coach, was arrested and charged with 14 felony counts involving two young girls. The alleged cases happened in 2013 and 2016 through text messaging. The 41-year-old is being held on a $200,000 bail and is prohibited from con any contact with minors. Just a little over five years ago, Sandusky's father was convicted of sexually abusing 10 boys and was sentenced to at least 30 years in prison. Two residents of Clayton have just been arrested this past Wednesday for the possession of 163 bags of heroin found in their North Broad Street house. In addition to the bags of heroin, police have also found Suboxone pills, marijuana, and other drug paraphernalia in the home. Willis L. Cooper and Sunside Jarrell were both arrested on counts of drug possession and distribution after police finally put a search warrant on the house after over a month of investigating. A car submerged in a partially frozen New Jersey lake on Sunday morning. 23-year-old Fatuma Kamara's car slid off the road into a pond in Goffle Brook Park. 50-year-old Don McWan saw the whole incident happen and jumped into freezing water to help. All others also stopped to lend a hand. A Hawthorne police officer was finally able to break the car window with his baton and pulled Kamara out. She was then taken to the hospital and released an hour later with no injuries. Want a great place to let your vegetables thrive? Then get excited for a new community garden opening up in Deptford. The township purchased Andalo Farms, a well-known vegetable farm in the area, last year and are excited to finally make it a community garden where residents can plant and harvest vegetables. The land was originally set aside to build new homes, but after talks of preserving, Mayor Paul Menendi says we can finally use the land for what it's always been, farmland. The community garden has 40 individual plots, each 30 foot by 30 foot, and will allow families to learn how to farm and give them the opportunity to grow their own vegetables. And now we have Jashanti Pittman giving us the weather. Thank you. Today is mostly cloudy with a high 46 and low 35. Tomorrow will remain mostly cloudy with a high 49 and low 28. On Thursday, make sure you bundle up because it will be very windy with a high 39 and low 25. The weekend is looking pretty bright starting with Friday with a high of 44 and low 29. The temperature will continue to rise just a little bit with, on Saturday with a high 56 and low 40. On Sunday, it will be mostly cloudy while the, te while the temperatures continue to rise with a high 63 and low 39. How are you guys holding up with the weather? <laughs> it's good. So far, so good. I mean, this weather feels kind of like springtime. So this weekend, we're going to like have 60 degrees on Sunday. Yeah, I'm That's like, crazy. Very excited. I'm so glad, like, you know, like that one little bit of day of snow. Like I hope that's it. I, I hope, hope, like, we just go into spring now. <laughs> it's over now. Get ready for spring. It's coming. I'm excited. Me too. Well, thank you, Deshanti. We'll be right back after this break. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org.
Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back to Arcan News. Right now we have a check on the latest in entertainment with Carlin Harlow. Thanks, Summer. This past Sunday night, singer Adele won two Grammys, Record of the Year as well as Song of the Year for her hit, Hello. She also took home the biggest Grammy of the night, Album of the Year, for her LP, 25. In her acceptance speech, she made a point to praise Beyonce's album, Lemonade, stating the work was monumental and empowering. Lemonade won two Grammys out of nine nominations. Adele also performed a tribute to late singer George Michael at the award ceremony. However, she stopped to restart her performance, stating that she didn't want to mess up the performance or disgrace the late singer. The blockbuster film La La Land, starring Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling, directed by Damien Chazelle, is nominated for 14 Oscars. La La Land is still in theaters, and the Oscars will take place February 26. Other popular films nominated are Moonlight by Barry Jenkins, Arrival by Dennis Villanueva, Hidden Figures by Theodore Melfi, and Manchester by the Sea by Kenneth Lonergan. A new exhibit opened at the Rowan University's Art Gallery on High Street. Showcased was Philadelphia-born artist Jay Walker's Archetype, which will remain until March 4. March 4th. So have you guys seen La La Land? Actually, I haven't yet, so Me I don't want to see it now. No. I want to as well. I have to get around to doing it, and uh, hopefully I'll be wild and like, it seems like it's good. Have you checked it out yet? Yes, I've seen it multiple times. Oh my gosh, yeah, well, I definitely want to see it. I'm excited too. And <laughs> after the break, we have some more news coming up. Most party fouls are pretty dumb. But if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Underage drinking and driving, the ultimate party foul. Got a quarter? If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. There's one thing you can never have sex without. It's not something you buy. Or something you take. In fact, there's only one way to get it. It has to be given to you, freely. It's consent. Because sex without it isn't sex. It's rape. Consent. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. About 17 employees in total either quit or fire for early retirement at the James T. Vaughn Correctional Center in Wellington, Delaware, after a raid killed a fellow employee on February 1st. A total of eight officers have just quit, while six more have filed for early retirement to leave the correctional facility. We don't have enough staff and people don't feel safe coming to work, says Jeff Klopp, president of the Correctional Officers Association of Delaware Union. With two other neighboring facilities quitting, the Correctional Center has no other choice to rely on rookie officers for the time being. But that comes with its own problems, with statistics showing that 57% of new hires quit within their first three years. President Donald Trump meets with the Prime Minister of Canada yesterday and defends the travel ban. The president started, stated in a meeting that he would fight to keep 
quote, the wrong people, end quote, out of the United States. Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime Minister, made it clear that he differs with Trump on the issue by praising Canada's acceptance of thousands of Syrian refugees. Both leaders say they hoped to continue strengthening the relationship between their two countries. Trump also said that they would be quote, tweaking, end quote, their trade deal and that it would be less severe than what, it is, what is happening on the southern border. A child at a local New Jersey school is diagnosed with mumps. Mavish Khan has the latest on this story as well as a look at this week's health check. Thanks, Summer. A child at Cherry Hill East High School is diagnosed with mumps. According to a letter posted online by Principal Dennis Perry, there's only been one case. Classrooms will be cleaned and the staff are making sure that it does not spread. Symptoms include the swelling of the cheeks and jaw area, but won't show until 16 to 18 days after the infection. The virus can spread before one notices symptoms through coughing, sneezing, talking, and sharing utensils or cups. Most people recover within a few weeks, said Perry. But added that children and adults who are up to date on measles, bumps, and rubella vaccinations will be fine. Those who are unsure about their vaccination should go check with their doctor. Are you having trouble concentrating these days? Can't seem to be able to finish any work? Here are four tips from health.com that can help. Over the course of an hour, take two short breaks. Struggling over that math problem for too long makes the brain lazy. You need to stop and restart to maintain concentration. Turn off your cell phone all the way, not just the ringer. According to a study from Florida State University, people who received text and call notifications made more mistakes on a computer task than those who did not have their phone interrupting them. If you must multitask, only do two activities at once. Your brain can't handle more, says a study. A part of your brain called the medial prefrontal cortex helps divide your work, so half of the is doing one task while the other works on the second. There isn't any room for more. And finally, take time to take steady, deep breaths and focus on your inhalations and exhalations. This Buddhist technique grounds your mind in the present instead of letting it wander. So are you guys having trouble concentrating these days? Oh, definitely. <laughs> that story sounds like me. I just like, once I get a text on my phone, I just go on Instagram, Snapchat. I know. I like my motivation has just gone down. Like, I'll read a sentence and I'll be like, I want to do something else. Let me just start another homework. I feel like I never finish one thing straight through. I sidetracked all the time. I, like, Story jump around. Mind. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So, I definitely need to just shut off my phone. Yeah, I definitely want to try meditation. I've always said I would, so yeah. hopefully, maybe soon. Yeah, maybe. It's very <laughs> relaxing, I hear. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mavish. Thanks. Coming up, which presidential advisor resigns after only one month in office? We'll be right back with the biggest stories in national news. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Open up your books to page 360. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Talking about inspirational quotes. You gotta believe in yourself. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a look at national news. A fire broke out at 5 p.m. yesterday in Disneyland's main parking lot, burning eight cars and having seven suffer from smoke inhalation, while four were taken to the hospital to be treated. Four cars were destroyed in the fire and authorities have yet to figure out the cause for the blaze, which resulted in $180,000 in damages. The fire was put out in 30 minutes and no serious injuries were reported, but the parking garage was shut down for two hours delaying hundreds of visitors who were eager to get to their vehicles and causing worry for thousands, as over a thousand cars are parked in the lot daily. 
After only a month into the job, White House National Security Advisor Michael Flynn resigned Monday night. His departure came just after reports surfaced that Justice Department warned the the Trump administration last month that Flynn misled officials regarding his communications with the Russian ambassador to the United States and was potentially vulnerable to blackmail. This makes him one of the shortest serving senior presidential advisors in modern history. Sources say General Keith Kellogg, retired General David Petraeus, and former Vice Robert Harward are possible replacements for Flynn. Federal TSA employees are facing up to 10 years to life after smuggling over $100 million worth of cocaine from Puerto Rico to the U.S. over an 18-year period. TSA baggage claimers and screen checkers were charged with possession and an attempt to distribute the drugs. Over 20 tons of cocaine were smuggled into the U.S. during this period, with TSA employees overlooking the suitcases and passing them through inspections and into the baggage claim without alerting canine units or authorities. It is reported to have taken five smugglers to get the cocaine on each flight, with 30 tons accompanying each smuggler, allowing safe and undetected travel into the United States. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's half-brother dies Monday after becoming ill at an airport in Malaysia. According to police, Kim Jong-nam's death was sudden and they are investigating the situation. South Korean media is reporting that he was in his 40s at the time of his death. Nam was the most public of all Kim Jong-un's sons before Kim Jong-un took power. Though most remember him for the scandalous headlines he made, allegedly Nam was shunned from the royal family after he was caught trying to sneak and visit to a uh, sneak a visit to Tokyo Disneyland using a forged document in 2001. This past Super Bowl game was an exciting one all the way to the end. Kevin Cornell gives us the latest in all things sports. Thanks, Summer. The 2016-17 football season in the NFL finished in extraordinary fashion as the New England Patriots made an impressive comeback against the Atlanta Falcons. Down 20-28, quarterback Tom Brady was able to lead the Patriots down the field in under three minutes to send the game into overtime. New England then received the ball in overtime, where running back James White scored the winning touchdown. This is Tom Brady's fifth ring of his career, the most by any quarterback. With football season over, basketball season season enters full swing as we approach the halfway mark of the season with the All-Star Game. There were more than a few notable snubs from this year's game, including, including centers Joel Embiid and Rudy Gobert, among point guards Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, and Mike Conley. This year's game will be held in Charlotte, North Carolina on February 19th at 8 p.m. Now over to hockey where the playoffs are all around the corner. The hometown Flyers sit two spots out of, the, out of contention for a spot in the Metropolitan with the Pittsburgh Penguins and the New York Rangers also fighting for that spot. Philadelphia also sits just outside of a wild card spot with the Maple Leafs and the Rangers blocking their path. With 26 games left in the season, the Flyers need to make a move into the playoffs sooner rather than later. Now over to Rowan Sports where men's, uh, Rowan's men's basketball team took on Rutgers Newark on Saturday night. Forward Sean Wilson led the way for the Profs in points with 27, while guard Rob DePerger contributed with 15 points and 5 assists. The final score of the game was 86-73 win for the Profs, who will look to take on Ramapo College on Wednesday for their final regular season game. And now we head over to our field reporter, Dino Arantoulis, with a report on Rowan's last regular season ice hockey game against Millersville. On Friday, Rowan University's Division II hockey team played Millersville University in the last game of the regular season. Rowan had the momentum early. Six minutes and 50 seconds into the game, center Brendan Cacavalli scores the first goal of the game and it was assisted by forward Frank Steffi. The goal was Brendan's seventh goal of the season and his 15th point. With a 2-0 lead, forward Alec Nikolai scores his first goal of the game, which was assisted by forward Sam Meyer. With Millersville down 3-1, forward uh, Nick Capasso scores from a breakaway, making the score 3-2. Capasso helps tie the game midway into the second period with a wrist shot, tying the score 3-3. Forward Troy Potts scores on a power play, taking the lead with less than 4 minutes in the second period. Roan answered back with less than 2 minutes in the second period. Alec Nikolai scores his second goal of the game, tying the game 4-4. 55 seconds later, Sam Meyer scores, making the lead 5-4, taking the lead 
which Rowan would hold on to for good. Rowan University Prost defeated Millersville 7-5 uh, in their uh, last regular season home game. Uh, it was definitely a uh, up and down match, but the uh, Rowan Prost were able to uh, uh, come out here with a victory. Uh, this is Dean Rowan Tours reporting for RTN News from Lancaster Ice Arena. And what a close one there for the Rowan Props. Huh. A 7-5 to five victory against a team they really kind of should have just dominated to get them into the playoff mode. Hey, that's true, but, you know, it's always good to finish the season, the regular season, on a high note, and I'm happy they came out with that win away. Absolutely. A tough effort, and it really is a gut check time for the guys, and they were able to pull it out nonetheless. That is really good great. for Rowan. Good for Rowan. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on RTN News. I'm Summer Shiki. And I'm Sean Kelly. Can't wait to see you next time, Rowan University.